are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Wednesday, the 6th of January. I'm James Spann. The weather dry today. A cold rain tomorrow. Maybe parts of North Alabama getting a few snowflakes tomorrow night or early Friday. And then maybe another chance of a few snowflakes early next week. Very active winter pattern. So let's dive in and talk about it. Here we go. Today, the weather will be nice and quiet. There's the upper look across the country. We have Again, a ridge, a shortwave ridge over the region, so pretty decent amount of sunshine today. But a cold start this morning, as cold as 23 in Aniana. Wow, Birmingham at 30. Down in Bibb County, 29. We're expecting highs in the middle 50s today, pretty close to seasonal averages. There's the watch warning, Matt. We note a winter storm warning in effect for a few counties in northwest Arkansas. How about that? That feature is going to bring rain to Alabama tomorrow, but we might see a few snowflakes up in the Tennessee Valley tomorrow night. We'll talk about that in just a second. Here's the severe weather outlook through tonight. There's a risk of severe storms, a slight risk around Houston and Galveston. And then tomorrow, the SPC, they've defined a marginal risk on parts of the central Gulf Coast, including southern Mobile and Baldwin counties in the Florida Panhandle. For most of Alabama, it's just going to be cold and wet, but there could be a few storms with gusty winds there, but the overall threat is quite low. And then on Friday, no thunderstorms expected across the country. This is the precipitation for the next seven days, and we're going to see some of it down here in the deep south. For most of Alabama, rain amounts between one half and one inch, and this is through Wednesday morning of next week. So a lot to talk about in modeling. Let's get into it. This is the GFS. This is the 06Z run at 3 o'clock today. Deep trough coming into Texas. We're dry. Rain to the west. Uh, lots of sun this morning. Clouds gradually increasing late this afternoon. High should be in the 50s. Tomorrow, that feature comes in here with rain. Uh, cold and wet will be in the 40s all day with periods of rain. And then tomorrow night, this is midnight, a cold core upper low comes in here. And we all know the deal. Cold core upper low, weatherman's woe. They can create some surprises. And underneath that, the uh, high-res NAM suggesting there could be enough dynamic cooling for a few snowflakes over uh, extreme north Alabama, mainly the Tennessee Valley, areas north of U.S. 278, up into parts of Tennessee. Uh, and these are tricky. I'll say that. These often bring surprises one way or the other, but uh, it literally brings its own cold air with cooling from above. So I think it's prudent to mention that for the Tennessee Valley tomorrow night. And occasionally you might get a heavier snowburst. And uh, again, if that's the case, the ground might get white in spots there. And again, we're talking mainly extreme North Alabama, not Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden. So just keep that in mind. Uh, all that will be ending uh, Friday morning. And the, during the day Friday, the feature moves on to the east. I'm not so sure we see any clearing on Friday. Uh, I think the clouds linger most of the day. There might be some lingering light rain Friday morning, especially on the eastern side of the state. Maybe even a few snow flurries Friday morning in spots with uh, temperatures only in the 40 to 45 degree range. It'll be cloudy, cold uh, throughout the day. But again, the bulk of the precipitation by afternoon should be east of the state. Saturday should be a brighter day. We start the day in the 20s. The high will be in the 40s. The sky will be mostly sunny. But again, that's a pretty chilly day. And then this is Sunday. The next feature shows up over southeastern Texas and the western Gulf. We'll go to Monday morning at 6 o'clock, and this run of the GFS shunts the system far to the south. Alabama dry, rain in the Gulf of Mexico. We'd just be cold and dry if this verifies. But look at the European. It's got a surface low south of Pensacola with rain over most of the state. This is Monday afternoon and suggesting a chance of snow over parts of Mississippi and Tennessee. So there's still great model madness out here. And until this feature, which is still off of the Pacific, gets into the American upper air network, you're going to see this flipping and flopping. So what do you do? You look at the ensembles. So this is the GFS ensemble mean, the chance of greater than one inch of snow Monday. Zero chance on this uh, ensemble batch. And this is uh, the 06E batch. Uh, the European showing, again, low probabilities over the Tennessee Valley. So, again, for, for this thing Monday, if you're a snow lover, keep an eye on it. But I would not be overly excited at this point. But this could easily change. 
Tuesday, that feature is on by. We're cool and dry. This is a week from today. Wednesday the 13th, got a trough to the west, but no moisture. So looks like after Monday, if we see rain or a few snowflakes, the rest of the week will probably be dry. We'll go out uh, 10 days. This is Friday of next week, troughing off the east coast. And again, that looks dry with temperatures probably below average. So this is the European Ensemble. Looking at snow here, and look at that. Most members do show a few snowflakes. Now, the gray, that's not much. That's, you know, just a little bit, but uh, evidence there could be maybe a few snowflakes in here with the feature early next week. But remember, there's great uncertainty here. Rain for Birmingham, the mean about one to two inches, but there's great uncertainty in the longer range out there. This is showing some of the members at five inches, and this is valid through the 20th of this month. Temperatures, look at the cold air. Uh, the, the national blend of models dropping the high for Birmingham down to 43 on Saturday. And then temperatures gradually getting back in the 50s toward the end of next week. And the CPC outlook for the 13th through the 19th of January, suggesting temperatures here would be below average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.